Normally I don't like making videos that somebody else has already made, but I gotta tell you, I looked around on YouTube and uh, if they tell you this stuff, it's buried in another 15 minute long video. So I'm gonna tell you real quick. This is how uh, your circuit breakers in your breaker box work. You've got a hot over here, a hot over here, and you've got a neutral. You don't have a ground. Your ground is actually out at your, uh, at your meter base and it's attached to a rod that's pounded into the ground and then a copper wire runs up and it connects to the neutral. So your neutral and your ground are bonded, what they call bonded, they're connected out at your breaker box or out at your meter base and inside here in your breaker box uh, you just have hot, hot and ground. And the way this works is this side here feeds in to this strip over here, or actually this side feeds into this strip over here and this side right here is feeding into this strip over here. Doesn't matter which strip it feeds into. You got a hot strip on each side and then you got a neutral bar. When you take your three wires you're going to hook up your black wire or your hot wire to one of these circuit breakers, okay? And you're going to hook your neutral wire to this, this neutral bus bar right here. And you're also going to hook your ground to the same neutral bus bar right here. They both go to the same place. These over here, these breakers over here are running from this hot. And these breakers over here are running from this hot. And the way this works is on this breaker you've got some point that hinges uh, and clips into in this case these little notches over here and then the other side is meant to clip onto the prongs which are connected to either your A or your B phase okay so it doesn't matter if you put this breaker on this side or this side all that matters is it's either feeding from phase A or phase B right so you put that on there, push, and then you're ready to hook your, your black wire here, your white, your, white higher, your white wire here, because it just goes around and is connected to this side. And then uh, you also hook your ground to uh, this. And you can hook your white ones on this side and your grounds on this side if, uh, if you want to keep it that way, but they're both connected. Now, if you, if you need 220 volts, this phase is 120 volts. This phase is also 120 volts. So the between them, you got 240 volts. So if you got a gas or a electric dryer, or in my case, I got a wood lathe, wood lathe that needs 220 volts. Look, it's got two connectors here on this 30 amp breaker for 240 volts. Okay. Now the reason it's got two is because you can see this prong here goes to this one, this prong here goes to that one. So when you hook this up and you put it in here, it's going to go, one side is going to go to uh, your A phase, one side is going to go to your B phase, so you've got 220 volts. Now when you hook this one up, you're going to hook one black wire up here, and you're going to hook your white wire up here, and then you can put your ground wire to your ground bus because uh, your, your device that's using 220 is going to say, is going to know it's taking 120 from A, 120 from B to get the 240 volts. So black, white, and then your bare wire or green wire uh, is going to go to your bus. Now some wire has black, red, and uh, black, red, and either bare or green, I think maybe. So if you got, if you got wires where it's black and red, you put a black one here, red one here, and then your ground wire or neutral neutral ground wire goes over here to this neutral ground bus. So that's it, quick, without having to watch a 15 minute video. I know it was long enough as is, but I want to make sure I explained it right.